Good morning, ESM. So yesterday, John and Ryan kicked us off our Halloween season with costumes, and I was just thinking of some other things at this time of year, like hay rides, pumpkin carving, candy. Car yeah, that too. Um, well, I brought in a very good friend, and he made us some homemade chocolate candy. Oh, boy. Uh, well, more on that after news and announcements. In news, yesterday the identity of the notorious Zodiac Killer was finally identified, almost 50 years after his last recorded murder. Known for his cryptic letters taunting local newspapers and his five known victims, the Zodiac evaded capture for years. Case Breakers, a group of retired law enforcement members dedicated to cracking cold cases, says they have identified the Zodiac as a man named Gary Francis Post. Post passed in 2018 and Case Breakers found his identity by solving one of his coded letters to newspapers, the 340 cipher. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Imagine being the Zodiac Killer, your name is Gary. <laughs> anyway, here's the announcements. On Thursday, the weight room will be open from 3 to 5 p.m. because of the half day. Please contact Coach Eschbacher or Coach Hayes with any questions. Whoa. So, yeah. We have yeah, some we chocolate. Got some, we got some chocolate today. Oh, uh, well, which I Which looks pretty once, good. Yeah, We'll have to try today. some after weather. Today we will have uh, a high of 74 with warm temperatures and a mostly cloudy day with a low of 59. Tomorrow we have a high of uh, 75 and a low of six, 60. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are looking nice with um, a high of 70 and a high of 69 with lows of 59 and 60. Monday we'll have 74, well, a high of 74 and a low of 58. Tuesday we'll high, have a high of 79 with mostly cloudy skies and a low of 59. And Wednesday we'll have a high of 77, and I'm Nolan with your weather. Okay. Right. What's that? This we got... is a chocolate covered Pringle. So, and, yep. I'm yep. going to try it. How's that? Is it good? The thing is, I don't taste the Pringle. I'm just getting some chocolate here, so this is actually pretty good. This is a pretzel. That's normal. <laughs> it tastes good. I think there's some goldfish in here. Oh, yeah. You got to try the goldfish. Yeah. That's yeah. a no. What's that? Got some freeze-dried strawberries. Those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try one of that. Okay, okay. that's not bad. That's good. not bad. I recommend that. Then the last yep. thing we have is some chocolate-covered potato chips. These have a great reputation, so I'll have to try some. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, yep. well, now on to sports with Mr. Ferris.
The New England Patriots have traded former Defensive Player of the Year Stephon Gilmore to the Carolina Panthers for a sixth-round pick. Tonight, the Los Angeles Rams take on the Seattle Seahawks at 8:20. The Los Angeles Dodgers beat the St. Louis Cardinals 3-1 last night after Chris Taylor's walk-off in the ninth with a two-run home run as the Dodgers advance to face the San Francisco Giants in the NLDS. Field hockey lost to Baldwinsville 6-0 last night. The volleyball team lost to CNS 3-0. The golf team placed fourth in sectionals yesterday. Zach Johnson shot 77 and qualified for the state qualifiers in the spring. And Logan Welch shot a career best 85. Girls Cross Country team lost to both Fulton and JD yesterday. Rachel Ladd finished first overall for the girls. The boys team beat Fulton and lost to JD. Tommy Walters led the team for the boys coming in seventh place overall. Girls Varsity Soccer has a game at home tonight against Syracuse City at 5.30. The boys soccer team plays at Fowler today at 5. Now back to the cross country. We have a clip of the team running yesterday. As soon as it plays at any moment. All the teams as they ran through it. And I guess it was uh, kind of nice for the team to have that. Elena, I, yeah. Yet? yeah, I love that because as you're cheering through, like you get the support of everyone. Some of the guys were like, "Yeah, cheer louder!" So it was it was a lot of fun. And how'd you do? I got tenth place. I think there was like 40 or 50 girls running, so I was proud. And if you had what? One chocolate you had to go to. What's your go-to chocolate? One chocolate. Reese's peanut butter cup. What's yours, so? Chocolate covered Pringles. <laughs> Is this your new favorite? You're gonna thank Jane. These are later? so good. I like snow caps. I'm I'm an old person. Ew. Oh, those are good. I know. Those are I like dark are... chocolate. Ew. It's for the dark side. Oh. And I it's have hot. to I have to come on and personally apologize to Soph because the Red Sox defeated my Yankees. Yeah. You guys want to send us out of here? Yeah, let's let's end the show. This is a disaster. Okay, yeah. well, have a great yeah. day, Spartans. I'm Soph. I'm Elena. Enjoy Chocolate Day.